Hello, world history students. This is Mrs. Politsky, and I have your notes for Chapter 17, Section 3, The Age of Exploration, Colonial Latin America. So we're going to just kind of go through some terminology. And as we go along, uh, make sure that you're jotting down the information that you need. We're going to start with talking about state and church. Um, when we talk about leadership uh, in the Americas, you might have found that in some areas, particularly areas that were dominated by the Spaniards, you might have had someone in control known as a viceroy. Uh, these were individuals who were appointed to rule the colonies in absence of the monarch. So an individual would be appointed maybe sent to places like Mexico, and they would rule over that area in the name of the monarch. A mission was something established by the church. It was built to Christianize the native peoples and to use them for labor. When we talk about missions um, throughout Mexico and really even in the southwestern portion of the United States, uh, there are a number of these that were established in the 1500s. Uh, some of these today are kind of controversial, especially when we, we look at uh, how native peoples were used, particularly for the labor side of it. Um, when we talk about social classes, uh, you have what we call the pensilaries, uh, who were Spanish or Portuguese officials born in Europe. Uh, they're kind of what I would call the, the first generation. Uh, these are the people who at some point in time may have been sent to the Americas uh, or a colony of some type, spent some time there and then went back to, to their home nation. The Creos uh, were individuals who were kind of the descendants of these Europeans. These are people who were born in Latin America or the Western Hemisphere, uh, who would be what I would call like your, your second generation. But these are the people who may have had more ties uh, to the Americas than their parents would have. Mesitos, these are individuals who are the offspring of European and Native peoples. Mulattoes are the offspring of um, Africans and Europeans, uh, usually denoted by a lighter skin tone. And then finally, we have our enslaved persons. Economic foundations, uh, we have the Mita, which is a labor system that kind of goes back to the Incas, but it's a system that Spanish administrators in Peru used to draft Native people into work. So it, it kind of was something that was already kind of established by the Incas, the native peoples, uh, but eventually utilized by the Europeans, in this case, the Spaniards. The Incominta, uh, which is a system of labor in which the Spanish used, uh, used in the Americas, uh, Spanish landowners had the right granted to them by Queen Isabella uh, to use Native Americans as labor, in this case, kind of like slave labor. Uh, very controversial and kind of problematic uh, because of the fact that uh, many of our Europeans introduced new diseases that our Native peoples had no immunity to. And eventually there's going to be um, widespread death eventually we're going to have to find a different labor source. And eventually we're going to see the, um, the use of slave labor, labor coming in from Africa kind of replacing this. Thank you very much.